online tutorial for noobs and today we're doing sniping and uh, we'll switch over to uh, teaching you some other stuff alright alright I'd like to start off with first of which that the sniper is uh, not a very strong weapon com as compared to uh, LMGs, SMGs, you know Guns that basically work all around better in the field. Well, and um, assault rifles as well. Keep feeling about those. But it does have its uh, advantages, such as being the best uh, far range weapon in the game, as you probably already knew. Alright, let's start off with some of the basic things that you should probably learn about this. For one thing, snipers, when you uh, scope, they also have their own sensitivity level, so you can adjust that as well. Just line up by three. See that? Helps move a lot smoother than it did before. So, yeah, adjust your scope sensitivity like you adjust your point of sensitivity, as I told you in the first video, in the, uh, in the first uh, segment. It's pretty useful and helpful and all that good junk. Alright, I'm better leave. I want to leave, but uh, I'm going to describe more about this gun. This is an awesome gun. This is the. Uh, actually look at it in order to see it. This is the M21, a semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle, and um, don't mistake this for, because uh, at first I did, uh, don't mistake this for uh, bolt action. It shoots a lot of rounds. Fortunately, you only get 20 shots per uh, round, so. But it's still a pretty good weapon. I'm starting, I just now started to use it, it's an pretty good weapon. I'll tell you about all the others. Unfortunately, I'm, the only one I probably won't be able to do is the bear pit the cow. And I'll just tell you that in detail right now. The bear pit the cow is, um, it's not, honestly, it's not a bad weapon. It's just that it has low accuracy. It's very powerful, though. I'd say it's just as powerful as the R1, the R700, I believe it is. I'll get on that later. First, I guess I can switch a wet, switch to wet to the uh, one of my favorites. All right, let me kill myself real quickly. Stop rocking on the Oh damn it! Well, this card is already messed up. Might as well. Goodbye. Next we have one of my favorite weapons, the one of my favorite snipers, the, the M4 OA3 sniper rifle. Bolt action, very powerful, very accurate. In fact, it's the most accurate and most well-balanced gun in this game. You can easily make steady shots with this, and it was my favorite, and I continuously use it even now. Look at that, it's beautiful. Now, um, I probably, ooh. I made a mistake here, guys. Sorry. Then again, maybe I can explain it right now. Let's go to control. Like in the, uh, like in most game, like in other games, you can even control the uh, control for snipe for sniping. So you see, I put uh, standard. Precision is really different from. Uh, I stick with, me, I stick with uh, pointer or standard as it's called, because it's actually a lot more easier to shoot with it. Precision, however, you may need a little practice. Even I still need, uh, still have trouble using this one. In the beginning, it was very hard for me to even get a hit with this gun, because it's so fidgety. I still don't, I think I believe I know how to control it. The camera basically centers on that gun. See what I mean? Very hard, very difficult to control. But if you leave it like yeah, rest for too long, it'll always snap back into its center spot. Watch. It's very difficult to control though. See what I mean? But it is very precise, I'll give it that much. Mm. I might start using this one. I might start actually using this control thing, but I might just take the standard. If I ever come across this place again in a new match, I might use it. 
official practices, but it's still pretty accurate though. It wasn't so fidgety. And uh, next up is control stick, probably the slowest uh, of the three. Excuse me for a moment. All right, back to the online tips. Sorry for that brief interruption. Interruption. I just had to put the title down there since I'll be using this format. Um, oh, with a hand stop. God damn it. <laughs> kind of messed that up on myself. I uh, guess we'll just have to redo this. In game. But you should know what control stick is because a lot of people use control, control stick. Now this is actually a little bit slower. I mean, heck, even I don't like using it. Because it causes you to stay still. I like to move. As a sniper, I like to move around a lot. Snipers need that mobility. And this is perfectly limited. Uh, I can move very slowly and it's very easy to get sniped. You have, a, have another sniper hit you or someone else can hit you before you even acquire a target. So I wouldn't have just using the control stick. I'd start off at the standard but with a very low aiming sensitivity. And then gradually move up until you get better and better and better. So you move up to a high enough sensitivity to where you can actually handle precision the greatest of ease. So I basically would start off at standard and then go to precision and then go to uh, blah. then go to uh, start off at st uh, sorry, start off at uh, standard then go to precision at its highest um, sensitivity. So I gotta keep getting tongue tied or whatever. Also know that uh, all snipers should always have traps. If you don't have I'm a mobile sniper and I don't I rarely fall in this rule. I basically, when I like to, if I want to camp, I basically set it up. So I guess I can do some uh, claymore spots on this level. See this lattice right here. A person comes in, they just get hit right there. Boom. As soon as they step through the door, they just get the uh, head exploded off or whatever. Another good place is uh, near stairs. I like to place mine like right around the corner. It's not a very good example, but. I was aiming for here and having an angle like right there. Thing is, so you have to be careful for people who actually use bomb squad. Which is another point I actually want to bring up to you guys. Bomb squad is not a bad perk to use. Don't be afraid to not use it because you think it's a waste of a perk. Especially if you know you have snipers playing or someone using those things. It's always good to have bomb squad at least in one of your categories. I suggest SMG. SMG is the bomb squad at people's own age. I know some people would rather use Vandal Gear or three special grenades, but believe me, it's a lot better. Especially if you're playing on a place like the block. I murder there. I put a silencer on the MP5, UVA jammer, and bomb squad, I just murder their entire team. No matter how strong they are. It could be a team of, could actually be a gold crosser, which are 10 prestigious, and I'd still own them with that particular class. Because I'm completely invisible and I know what the traps they're laying. So enough on that little uh, side note. Uh, what else can I make? Ah yes, of course. The one thing that's been bothering me with noobs these days. Not you guys, you guys are cool. Alright, better kill myself. One, two, three. Epic. Now, um... I've seen a lot of you guys use SMGs and spray and pray. And to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sick of it because I die to it all the time. I'm sick of it because you waste ammo senselessly and end up having to reload. End up wasting ammo. Watch. I'm talking about shooting like this. That is senseless and stupid and will waste your ammo, especially if you keep missing your opponent. A more way to get accurate mark with the SMG or an assault rifle or an SMG is to, is to shoot semi. Well, not semi, but in burst fire with uh, automatics. And I've been seeing a lot of that with you guys just basically running around spraying and wasting all of your bullets and end up getting killed. If you want to get more skills, just Couple of quick bursts around, a couple of quick bursts around, and you'll take them down. Alright. 
think that's all I've said today. I've said my piece. I'll take you to the live demo version where I'll give you more tips on how to actually actively fight in the uh, live battle.